Hi, today I want to take some popular kids toys and make them more exciting, for me at least. I asked about which toys to use on Twitter and got tons of answers from people who also think children have it too easy and need more stimulation. These are some popular harmless toys. And that's what's wrong with them, because no pain, no gain. You will strive to do better when you know the punishment for losing is severe. And you will enjoy your win much greater when you see the pain in your opponent's face. Uh, so let's just jump right into it, turning these into some safe electrocution devices. Then I'll play with my daughter. The first game I didn't even bother to buy. It's a fun game you can build at home. You just need to bend some thick wire. Then you just drill two holes in a piece of wood. Then you shove your bent piece of wire in the holes. And boom, you're done. Now we loop another piece of wire around the first one. That will go around our wire maze like this. Now we put some electric tape around the base of the wire to create an isolation area between the two wires. And boom, we are done. Connecting the two wires acts like a switch. Now we need a circuit that this will close to show us that the wires are touching. If you don't know what a circuit is, watch my last video where I almost set my room on fire. <laughs> For my circuit, I simply connected the switch in series with a light bulb and power lines that I can plug in. Now all we need to do is to avoid touching the wires. And if we touch them, the light will turn on and let us know. Yeah, I'm doing so- The proof of concept worked too well. It shocked me and it blew up. And it's lethal, so don't try this at home. We need to run it at a much safer voltage, like a 9 volt battery. We just need an LED series with a resistor, and now, when I connect them together, it just turns on harmlessly. Now we need to find a sweet spot between harmless and lethal. My idea is to use a circuit that creates harmless electric shocks. Those circuits are super simple. Their main character is a transformer with much more secondary windings compared to primary. Now all you need to do is to momentarily charge the primary of the transformer by switching a supply across it. And that creates magnetic fields in the transformer. Now when you open the switch, those magnetic fields collapse, creating a super high voltage across the secondary. This is what's used in those novelty shocking toys. Exactly like an old car ignition coil with common primary and secondary. And if I connect like two volts across the primary and let go... Ouch! This was strong. Really? With just two volts? Ow! Does it mean I can get shocked with a single double A battery? Ow! Ow! That went through my entire body. This has great potential. <laughs> See, I'm measuring the output divided by 100 and I get spikes that jump 40 volts, which is like 4,000 volts on the output. Well, you get the idea, but let's not use our own homemade taser for this, because this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN, and we can't risk killing anyone in a sponsored video. But you can have a safely protected internet or get access to the content that's not available in your area. Just go to expressvpn.com slash electroboom and get three months of free service on a one-year package. It's like less than $7 a month. Check it out. Check it out. Out. So since I want my toys to safely shock people, let's use what's commercially available, like this toy electrocuting gun, rather than my homemade taser. You can see how far... Let's see how badly it shocks. I hate getting shocked. Ouch! This is pretty painful too. Let's try it one more time. Ouch! Ow, I hate it! Let's try it one more time. Well, this one was giving me a single strong shock, but this one is giving me a milder shock, but repeats it fast and continuous. So it's pretty painful too. Now if you open the shocker, we'll see that there is this tiny transformer here and a circuit that switches it on and off, a battery and a switch. And the output is connected between the conductive trigger and an external metal plate. There is also an LED for fun. So all we need is to use our toy as the switch to turn the shocker on. So I also added a wooden handle for this and the two sides of this tiny switch, one connects to this wire and the other one to this wire 
and the output connects to these two wires that I connect to both sides of this wooden handle. Here we are, my beautiful contraption is done and I added aluminum foils to both sides to make sure if you pick this handle you definitely touch the outputs. It is also a good idea to add a switch on this to make sure it turns off otherwise the batteries will die quickly. Okay, ready? Let's try it out. Oh, oh, works. I guess it's better than Russian roulette. Next toy, the jack in the box, is my daughter's suggestion. But it's a baby's toy. I don't know if I want to shock babies. I guess I could modify it so that when this guy jumps up, it shocks the baby. Or even better, I can make it jump up at a random spot in the music so they get surprised too. Eh, I don't think I want to scar babies for life. I'll just connect the output of the shocker to the handle and shock my daughter. And we will bond over playing these games. So here is the jack-in-the-box contraption. You just turn it on and anyone touches the handle will be shocked. Many people suggested the game operation. It's a simple game. You just have to remove stuff from this patient without touching the sides, otherwise it will buzz and you lose. So this metal connecting to that metal would be the switch to turn on my shocker. So I wrap electric tape around the tweezer and I wrap one of the wires around the tweezer metal for switch and the output of the shockers I'll wrap them around the electric tape. Something like this. Now we just wire up another one of these shockers and we are good to go. Done! But I had to disconnect its alarm circuit because it was interfering with the shocker circuit. But who needs an alarm when you get shocked? <laughs> Let's remove something a bit challenging now. Careful. Yow! I think the surprise factor makes it hurt more. And the last game is Rock'em Suck'em, which soon will be Rock'em Shock'em. This is a simple boxing match played by two people and when one hits the other, the loser's head pops up and that's when we want to shock the loser. There you go, aluminum foil to the rescue. Now when the guy gets punched, the two metals contact and the switch closes. Okay, one side is done with electrodes on one handle only, not between the two handles because we don't want to run electricity through body. Now, let's see if it works. Ow! Yeah, it works. Now I have to just add the same thing to the next player and we'll be done. Hi, today we are with Electrocute and we want to try a few games. So, which one should we start first? My favorite? Yeah. The wire you thinking? Here, go ahead. You want to no, try first? No, no. I try? Yeah. See, it's so simple. You just keep going like this. Even on yet. Yes, I have to turn it on. No, oh, wait! Wrong shirt! Get the merch! Okay, you have to be very careful. It's not too hard. See, you just have to avoid touching the other wire. And who goes further? <laughs> Wins! Where did I touch here? Yeah. Ouch. Okay, your turn. Go. Just be careful. Don't touch that. Why? Okay. <laughs> I touched it right at the beginning. <laughs> okay, let me try it. I can do it again if you want. Oh, can you? Okay. Be careful. Pay attention. Stop stressing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What? Right at the beginning. Are you sure you don't want to try it again? No. no. Okay, fine, fine. I'll do it then. Let me show you how it's done. Ow! I didn't go far. Okay, let me try again. Ow! Ow! This one was bad. Ouch! <laughs> Can I try? Oh, you want to try? Sure, go ahead. Let me turn it on. <laughs> we have a new contestant. <laughs> Here, try it out. <laughs> Do you think it's a good game to play in uh, holidays with family? 
No, not not really. <laughs> you want to do the jack in the box? You want to do the jack in the box? Okay, I okay. turn it on. Okay, go ahead. I, I feel like it's going to zap me. Why did it? Why did it? <laughs> it zapped you? Why? Yeah. It's so early. Let me turn it. See, it zapped okay. me. Okay, it's good now. Go. Why is it zapping me? Oh, because I made it so it always zaps you. Really? Yes. <laughs> I thought I was only supposed to zap you when the jack person jumps out. Is it good? No. I think they're you fun. Play. You play it. I play it. This is not, you just get zapped. You don't... Okay, fine. Let's play it once. The whole time. Until he I jumps out. I can't hold it forever. Ow. 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 No, I can't. Ow. Let me see if I can get numb and hold. Ah. I can't hold it. Okay, next game is the Rock'em Shock'em. The best modified game in the universe. Ready? Go! Ouch! You yes. hopped me! Yes. <laughs> ah, that was lucky. Okay, again. Again? Ow! Again? Okay. Wait, why? My hey, head yours is too. Well, I didn't feel anything. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> we did it at the same time. Nice. Okay. One more time. What what is the score? You're ahead, huh? Okay. Three one. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Two, three. One more time because I have to beat you. That's let's get long, to four. That's a long way. The first one to four wins. Ow! Four two, you win? Yeah. What do you think about this game? It's good, because I always win. That was lucky though. Next time you lose, you won't like the game too much. So let's play the next game. The... what is it called? Operation, yes. I guess I go first. Which one should I take out? The person who takes more out wins. One, two, three, four. Pfft, this is so easy. What? Five. This game is for kids. Six. Obviously. You took them Seven. Both. Ouch! <laughs> oh, seven. I did seven. Let's see how good you do. Your turn. One. Ten. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. I still lost though. Dad, fun. <laughs> oh, my favorite game of it. Oh, yeah, join up. Oh, so I don't feel fun. <laughs> As much. <laughs> okay, my turn again. I feel like every time I get shocked, I jump up a little bit harder than you do. Does it mean that I'm more sensitive than you? I guess. <laughs> I thought after all the shocks I've received, I developed a little bit of immunity. Ow! <laughs> Just two. Your turn. <laughs> oh, baby. One, two, three. Ow! Ow! <laughs> yeah. Three. Three? Okay, you still win. Okay, we are done. Now, between all these games, which one was your favorite? Um, Operation. Why? Because I'm the best at it. But this one was my favorite because it shocks hardest. And this is the only game that I won. Don't you think this brings families together? <laughs> it does in a weird way. <laughs> or, you know, maybe they grow to hate each other. Possible. Well, that was fun. For me, at least. And thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Use my link to get your free 3 months of internet security. I'm sure you'll need it. I personally use it on my laptop, especially when I travel. The last thing I want is for some low-life hacker to take over my livelihood on my computer. See, hackers tend to be on low security networks that allows them to poke into many people's data at the same time, like public Wi-Fi's in coffee shops or airports. It's like those networks provide a bundle deal to those hookers. 
hackers. Damn it! Learn the difference. Without a VPN, your privacy, personal, or credit card information if you are doing online shopping is at risk. ExpressVPN encrypts the data between your device and internet on any network, so anywhere in the world you are safe. It also provides internet without restriction by allowing access to blocked content, because you can connect to any one of their servers from 94 countries, and the networks on the other side wouldn't know your original location. So check them out, and thanks for watching.